What's the good word, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. I'm recording this about 7.15 in the morning. I just walked by a sign, rise and shine and give God the glory. We have my house and the sun's coming in, so hopefully it's sunny and not freezing wherever you're at or whenever you're watching this video. I'm going to teach you my favorite strumming pattern that I kind of throw in so many songs, like, she got the best. Okay, start that over. I was off key. Ready? She got the best of me. There we go. She broke my heart, now all that's left of me. His beating and his guitar, living at a different town. She follows me around, get what's left of me. Yeah, you get what's left of me. She got the best of me. I use that strumming pattern, that song, and so many of Luke Combs songs. Real fast, too, if you want to see three Luke Combs songs that use the same pattern, I'll pop a little thing. You click on that little eye or whatever. But, <coughs> but excuse me. As far as this video, you're going to use my four chords. Uh, you can use any chords, but I'm going to show you, give you an example with this one. Start with a C add nine that I call a C. You're going to lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret and go fourth and fifth. Now, what you, this, this strumming pattern that's my favorite is going to involve three things. A hammer on... What that means is you're simply doing the first strum, again, the bottom five strings, without your first finger on that fifth, fourth string. Hear how that's two sounds? One strum, but two sounds. So that's the first part of this pattern. The second part is going to go up and then stop. So you're going to kind of, again, you can have a pick or not. I'm not using a pick. But you do hammer on, up, stop. So... So to understand how you do that, you're doing a hammer on, break, and then stop. And then you go to that next chord and do that one down strum. So my next chord is going to be a G chord, same as a C add nine, but slid up to the fourth and fifth, strum all six. So after you get to that chord, that one strum, you're going to hammer on and do the same thing on the next two chords as you do those two chords. So you're going to be, if you're a beginner especially, you're going to start out, it's going to be a little bit slow. That's okay, guys. Hang in there. Just make sure you're doing the format right by keeping the bottom two locked. Hammer on, up, stop, and switch. Hammer on, hammer on. So after that hammer on, you can even go back and forth on the G chord. And then go back to hammer on. On the E minor, I'm hammering on both strings, so... Same thing. So hammer on, up, rake. So rake up, stop. Now that D chord, my final chord, got the two bottom locked. I hammer on that third string, second fret. So C, G, E minor, D. It also adds that kind of drum. I love strumming patterns like this. That have kind of a drum beat to it. This is my kind of town. This is my kind of place. Wouldn't mind hanging around more than just a couple days. I got a 12 floor room with a kid of you. With the empty Astro Dome. A tab at the bar downstairs. And all I can think about is I got my new boots covered in red dirt. Don't mess with Texas t shirt. It's got the biggest sky you'll ever see, the coldest beer you'll ever drink. But I still feel like I laid it on the Cause it ain't got you. Houston, we got a 
got a problem. Another Luke Combs jam. Y'all know I like some Luke Combs. Um, we'll be falling all over again. That's my favorite one that he sang. Um, anyway, guys, give this a strumming pattern. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this instead of always just teaching songs. I want to make sure I, I, I show you a few little tricks there. So basically, if nothing else, make sure within those chords that I play often my G, C, E minor, and D. You want to make sure you learn the hammer on. And it's simply just playing the, the chord, the first drum, without your first finger on it. On it. And you put that, put that down while the chord's ringing out. And then that kind of up and stop. You might even want to, when you're first learning the strumming pattern or something new in guitar, don't worry so much about singing or playing a song because you might not be that advanced yet. So don't worry so much about a song. Just work on the... Hope this helps you guys out. Check out my website, countrysongteacher.com. Subscribe to all three of my channels. Acoustic Selection, Country Song Teacher, and just my name, Matt McCoy. And I would sure appreciate it. I got my little guys. Oh, I thought I had my little guys out here. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Guys and guys, have a great day. Holla.